All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We got this thing looking sharp, man. We got all the 12-volt wiring. We got the air conditioner on in here chilling out. Looking good. Got some little standoffs so we can raise it up, make a porch. Jacks are mounted. We're putting on the finishing touches. It is turning out very nice. So, whoa. You've probably seen part three come out. And uh, we're starting out this video with the fifth wheel installation and the camper for roadworthiness, getting it out of the shop. And then when we get ready to do the interior, we'll bring it back and we'll do the rest. So stay tuned, it's gonna be fun. Today, we got a fifth wheel for the off grid that is two inches too short. So, we are going to add this piece and then add three inches, and then we have holes here that we can actually adjust it again. And we're using a mag drill to punch the holes out. We got this thing all welded back up and put back on the rails. We're ready to start reassembling everything and then we can raise it up for two inches. All right, we got a finished product here. Man, this turned out pretty well. Didn't take long. We got the fifth wheel and a little Dodge Dakota. Got all our little brackets made. Bolted down. Turned out really well. Well, we got her hooked back up to the truck. And uh, she's ready to, to head out. Ready for more supplies. And uh, man, it's been a really good project, fun project. Uh, turned out really well. Very pleased with it. I'm ecstatic. <laughs> the customer is ecstatic. Yes, sir. We are very, very happy. Can't be more pleased to take on a project like this and, and finish it all the way through. It's been fun. And I think for the first time, we probably put a fifth wheel hitch in a Dodge Dakota. Start putting the interior together. We're gonna start burning the floor here. You'll see in this time lapse. And uh, we got some material, and then we're going to start on the inside, and we're excited to get started again. Let's see how it goes. Thank you. 
Well, we got our all the flooring burnt and two coats of a sealer on it. And we'll probably come back tomorrow with uh, probably a clear epoxy that makes it pretty good. Uh, how do I put this? Make it durable. Make it a lot more durable. Something gets dropped on it, something gets spilled on it. It's going to be able to stand up to the time. And uh, being an off grid, when it's interior day, we're finishing out the ceiling on the off grid here, and it's looking good so far. We got a little excited, wanted to throw some boards up in the air, so we got started. Let's see how this turns out. Just into the stack of wood here, and we're getting it put up in the ceiling. We're getting ready to throw this on time lapse, and uh, you guys can see how this all comes together, making some progress. Well, you can see we're frantically measuring here and uh, trying to figure out how we ran out of lumber when we figured this perfectly. Well, you see the boards on the ceiling where we screwed the ceiling boards to? Those little slats up on the very top? Well, those were screwed to the frame and the boards on the ceiling were screwed to those. Well, you can see we've realized that uh, we've made a mistake. And uh, we're going to have to get more boards to finish this out, which we'd have to do is a little bit of custom routing and cut the uh, front boards to fit. So we ran out at a good place, but sure would have been nice to finish it all in one big shot. Well, we run out of lumber, but we got our ceiling done. We got our lights ran. Everything's on. Those work, man, they're bright. And the uh, customer's going to uh, do a whitewash on the walls and uh, get her some more wider boards so we can cut them. But other than that, man, this thing's looking good. 
As you can see, we got this project about as wrapped up as we can get it. This is part number four of this video. We will have a part number five. Part number five, I believe what we're going to do, we're going to come back. We're going to show the finished product of this camper. We're also going to do like a little interview with the customer. Green screen behind us so we can put up all the pictures of the build rolling behind us as we go through everything. And kind of the vision the customer had, our vision to get it completed, and a full layout of all the different project videos and pictures as we go through it. I think it'll be a really cool ending to part number five. I know the customer's been using this thing and he is ecstatic about it. He loves it. Loves the functionality of it. The little back ports that flips up nice. Uh, it turned out really, really well. We're super excited. Hey guys, thank you so much for wa watching and please do not forget to like and subscribe and share it with your friends and leave some comments on what we ought to build next. We also got some cool videos coming out of some old cars. You got a 40s New Yorker. We're getting ready to uh, get done before Halloween, we hope, and uh, it'll be a lot of fun. So, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and be extraordinary.